Hello everybody, Manix here. Knife handle texturing. Do you like your super grippy high traction folders or are you into the more slick stuff? You like your metal handles, titanium, aluminum, stainless steel, or hell, just untextured FRN. Maybe even smooth G10. Let's discuss some pros and cons of each and what my preferences are and where I think it actually makes a difference and matters. Personally, I like all kinds of textures. It just depends on the context of the knife, what I'm using that knife for, and how that knife's overall design and shape is, how its ergonomics are, what that knife is intended to do, etc. Personally, I don't think every single knife needs high traction, needs a ton of jimping. Uh, for a while, that was a fad. I think it still kind of is these days, but I remember years ago, it was talked about all the time. Every knife needs jimping every knife needs to have a super high grippy traction so it doesn't slip out of your hands because you're a cool tactical guy I, I get it i get it generally speaking i prefer the more textured knives i just like the fact that i'm more confident with holding those knives because they won't slip out of my hands as easily i just feel more confident with something this is a kind of like a medium actually even almost medium softer traction g10 on this Cold Steel Recon 1 here with the S35VN blade steel, but I really, really like it. It's not super slick. I don't feel like it's going to fly out of my hand, particularly because this knife's relatively slim. The handle's pretty thin. That's especially when I like high textured handle scales. Same with this Cold Steel Range Boss right here. Very, very skinny, slim, slim knife, but very, very high traction Zyx or FRN on this one. It's almost like a skateboard tape pattern huge fan of it. Again, because this knife's so skinny and so slim, I want some grip on there so it won't fly out of my hands if some dangerous or emergency situation came up. Or hell, even just during an EDC situation, I don't want it goofily tumbling out of my fingers because it's too slick and too slim. Thicker handles are where I think the texturing's not as required. This one also has a similar texturing to the Range Boss. It's actually a little bit less aggressive, believe it or not, but it's similar pattern, just a little bit more fine, more sanded down it looks like. But because this handle's so massive and so thick actually absolute beast mode of a knife this formax scout i don't mind as much it is textured but this is a situation where i don't really care as much if the side traction is there or not if it's completely slick it doesn't really matter because i have so much to hold on to and that's when we get into this spartan right here there's kind of texturing on here it's textured it's not like really grippy or anything not super slick but you can see these like aesthetic cutouts right here they kind of act as grip technically speaking they're little shallow dips right here. It's better than not having them, but it's more just for aesthetics than anything. But especially this handle does not really need much texturing at all because we have such pronounced cutouts right here and the handle's so enveloping and it's so ergonomic for my hand anyway. Damn. I don't really need texturing or care for texturing as much because I'm really confident in this handle shape because it's so extreme. Now for the more versatile handle shapes, I have a whole video talking about extreme versus versatile handle designs, but for something more versatile and more simple with less choils, less crazy cutouts, less of a pronounced shape, usually that's when I also want more texturing. So if it has a versatile handle and or a very slim handle and or it's small, that's when I especially want more and more texturing. This is an example of a knife Another cold steel right here, the N-Gage 3-inch 4116 SS in Tanto. This is a knife I want texturing on. I actually desperately, desperately want texturing on. Yeah, very light, very slim, very EDC friendly and all, but the problem is that I feel like it's going to fly out of my hands, particularly in a stressful situation, a tactical situation, a defensive situation. I don't know. I, I, I feel like if my hands were shaking, my adrenaline was going, maybe I'm sweating and I pull this out, I feel like it's going to fly right out of my hands as I'm attempting to deploy it quickly. When in situations like that in particular, seconds matter, we all know how that goes. This is where I want texturing. Something like this. Very skinny, very slim, heavily textured. Good job. Not heavily textured. I don't, I don't know. I, I want texturing on something like this. It's that slim and thin. This knife doesn't really have any texturing other than these pronounced cutouts we have for the choils, for the fingers. It's all aluminum, so it's a metal handle, but because it's so wide and so thick, so beefy, and again, very pronounced cutouts, fits my hand like a glove. I don't care that it's not textured. I love this knife. I'm really, really confident holding this knife. I'd be very confident using it in a defensive situation, despite being on the slicker side because it's a metal handle. I still am confident holding it 
because of these toils and because of how thick it is. It's literally thicker, meaning it's more hand filling. My skin has more to hold on to. The more you have to hold on to, the less likely it is going to fall out of your hands. That's just how that goes. So texturing for me is all about a compensation for how much you actually have to hold on to and how the knife's overall shape and design and purpose is. I don't need every single knife to be super grippy and super textured and super gemmed or else I'm just not gonna buy it. Some people are like that. I agree, I think having more texture is better than not having it regardless, but it's not a deal breaker for me. I don't care that much if I feel like the overall shape of the knife does not scream for it. Then you have knives, these two in the middle, two-tone. Stainless steel on one side, whoosh, G10 on the other, medium, medium soft retraction on this Kershaw OD1, discontinued. Same with the CRKT, Otanashi no Ken, stainless steel on one side, medium traction G10 on the other. Really, really like that. It kind of just compensates for it. It's not like the entire thing is made out of stainless steel, so I still think it's fine, despite it not being as grippy as a knife that would be all G10, but kind of more tricky to design a knife like that if it's a frame lock, and both of these two-tone handle scale knives are frame lock, so that just makes sense. You got middle ground texturing like this guy. Love, love, love the Spyderco Volcano grip. Oh, it's just sexy. It's just, it's just fantastic. Love the grip. Not too grippy, not too aggressive. It's not going to rip up your pants when you slip this guy in and out of your pocket, but it's not going to fly out of your hands either. It's just perfect right in that sweet spot. Absolutely love the grip on these things. Again, not a deal breaker for me. I still bought this slick knife, but this one in particular really bothers me. I actually really, really wish there was texturing on here because it's so slim and so rounded and so friendly, which is nice and all very great for EDC, but under any other circumstances, not only do I not have a whole lot to hold on to here because it's so slim, there's no texturing to compensate for it. So it's just slim and smooth, unless you're just using this for EDC and absolutely nothing else. I don't know. I'm not very confident with this knife at all. This one's interesting. We got like a, it's also G10 on here, but it doesn't feel like G10. The way it's textured feels more like a rubberized material. It's like a sticky grip rather than an aggressive sandpaper like grip. Very, very interesting. But regardless, I don't really care that it's there all that much because this knife's so beefy. I have so much to hold on to. Very pronounced guard up here from the flipper. It's, it's a very, very, very solid, big, thick ass, heavy knife. And I'm a huge fan of it for that. But as a bonus, we have grip on here anyway. Cool. I'll take it. Again, the knife I think that's executed the best and benefits the most from the texturing anyway is this guy right here, the Range Boss. Really, really aggressive. The only downside to this grip and grippy knives in general is the surface where the pocket clip will rest on. Again, it can just rip the shit out of your pocket. I actually loosened this pocket myself. Combination of a super tight pocket clip and a super aggressive texturing out of the package. Yikes, your pockets are not going to be happy about that, but loosened it up myself, so now it's generally okay. But again, because it's so slick and so slim, it's perfect, perfectly compensated. Now I feel confident again with such a skinny, thin knife. What are your thoughts on texturing? Do you absolutely need your knives to be very, very grippy? Do you need lots and lots of jimping on them for your thumb? Or do you not give a shit? Do you like slick knives? Do you like the smoother, friendlier texturing? Having no texturing is your preference. Let me know what your thoughts are and why in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe and that little bell notification if you do not want to miss weekly knife and gun videos. Manix out.